The use of disposable tools, sensors, or accessories in the medical field has drastically reduced the amount of healthcare associated infections. Yet, there's still the risk that a disposable device could be reused on a different patient by mistake. How can you ensure that the disposable medical accessory is authentic and not an inferior, poor quality counterfeit? How can you ensure that the medical accessory has not been used previously? What if the medical accessory is designed to be used only a limited number of times and needs to be expired thereafter? What if the use of a counterfeit accessory could cause serious injury to patients or damage the medical equipment? All of these challenges and more can be solved by a secure authentication solution designed into the accessory. With Maxim integrated deep cover secure authenticators, you can easily implement a secure system to protect your product. Make sure this possible is not reused and help patients feel confident that they are being treated only with authorized products. The OneWire DS28 E36 Deep Cover Secure Authenticator provides the authentication and security needed to be certain that only authorized accessories could be used in the system. It provides a core set of cryptographic tools derived from the integrated asymmetric ECCP256 and symmetric SHA-256 security functions. In addition to the security service provided by the hardware implemented crypto engines, the device integrates a true random number generator, 8K of secure double EEPROM, a decrement only counter, two pins of configurable GPIO, and a unique 64 bit ROM identification number. For a secure contactless medical application, the MAC 66242 combines an RF front end, an I2C front end, a FIPS 180 base SHA-256 engine and 4 kilobits of user double EEPROM. To understand how the DS28 E36 could be implemented in a system, the medical accessory demo provides a solution based on Maxim's OneWire DS28 E36 Deep Cover Secure Authenticator, MAX66242 and the NFC reader MAX66300. The demo consists in two medical staplers, an NFC reader, two NFC wristbands, a USB to one wire adapter, and a host application software running on PC. The stapler with the red sticker represents an authorized accessory. The stapler with a green sticker represents a manufacturer authorized accessory. The Max 66242 is being used as an NFC tag inside the wristband which represents two different patients. The stapler contains the OneWire DS28 E36 Deep Cover Secure Authenticator. The PC is the host portion of the solution and runs software to emulate a medical procedure. To start the demo, I need to connect the MAC 66300 NFC reader and the OneWire adapter to any available USB ports, providing the necessary communication from the PC software to the hardware. The software application is ready and to begin we press the start button. The software prompts to place the patient wristband on NFC reader. The reader runs authentication on the patient's wristband and reads the patient information. Now let's demonstrate the scenario when the medical accessory is not authorized by the manufacturer. Using the one-wire adapter to USB adapter, I connect the stapler with a red label that represents the not authorized accessory. To pass authentication, the host will verify the ECDSA certificate that is stored in the DS28 E36. This is accomplished by reading out the store certificate along with additional information that is necessary to verify the certificate with a master site ECDSA verification operation. The DS28 E36 in the not authorized accessory will not have the correct certificate. The host performs the certificate verification on the device and in this case it is not authentic. So the software doesn't allow it to use the stapler. To be able to operate the software and execute the treatment, it is necessary to use an authorized medical accessory. Now, I will use the stapler with a green sticker that has a valid certificate and correct set of keys specified by the manufacturer and it is authorized for this application. Again, the software runs the authentication and at this time, 
the accessory is verified to be authentic and can be used for the treatment. After the authentication process, the software writes the patient's ID to the new stapler memory to avoid a different patient to use this disposable. This is not a simple write. The memory has been protected using the ECDSA write protection. Only a host that has been authorized by the DS28 E36 can modify the memory contents. To be able to write to the DS28 E36 memory, the host must prove that it has the correct ECDSA key to make memory modifications. Now that the stapler has been programmed with the patient's ID, it is ready to be used. For purposes of this demo, the stapler has only 5 uses and this is a secure value that can only be decremented and cannot be reset. Let's use the stapler 3 times and then interrupt this patient's procedure to demonstrate what would happen if the stapler is used with a different patient. I'm using the blue wristband and this could represent a second patient requiring a procedure with the same type of accessory. It is possible that a mistake could be made where the person providing the treatment incorrectly tries to use the stapler assigned to the previous patient. The software authenticates the patient and gets her information. The software reads the patient's ID from the wristband and compares it to the patient's value securely programmed into the stapler. In this case, the software detects the stapler has been assigned to a different patient and stops the procedure preventing the disposable to be used again by mistake. Let's go back to the first patient that is authorized with this stapler and finish the procedure. The patient used already three staplers from the five programmed by the manufacturer, leaving only two more uses. I place the yellow raised band on the reader and the patient's info is compared with the stapler. Now the stapler is ready to use and finish the treatment. The GPIO function is being used to control the LED state and provide visual feedback from the memory writes, authentication, and in this case, the end of the product usage. After the two additional staples are used, the stapler has reached its maximum 5 use life as configured for this demo. At this point, the stapler is electronically expired by a secure zero remaining staple count value. Since the medical accessory is a disposable, the software will not allow to use the stapler after the uses have been expired. The Deep Cover DS28 E36 and Max66242 Secure Authenticators provide a great solution to manage medical accessories, including authentication, calibration, data, and end use. For more information, go to maximumintegrator.com slash DS28 E36 and maximumintegrator.com slash max66242 to find out more about these products and to order samples and EV kits.